Have these issues held you back from working with velvet or blanket yarns? Magic circles that feel more like zipping up jeans after the holidays? Or yarn that breaks from pulling? Are you struggling to see your stitches? Do you end up with damaged strands from pulling? Or are you worried about ends coming undone? Today, I wanna to teach you five hacks for how to work with these yarns. I've been working exclusively with this type of yarn for the past six months or so, and I've been designing patterns with it, like these quick no-sew potato animals I'm currently working on. But I've also designed a giant mushroom and succulent. All of this has taught me several techniques I wanna share with you today. Number one, closing the magic circle. You're going to start off by making your magic circle as you normally would. Now you're going to start your first single crochet. And this is where the key is. You want to pull up this loop and bring it up a little bit higher so it's not so tight around your ring. Continue to make your single crochet as you normally would. I'll show you that again. You're going to bring up this loop and raise it up a little and finish your single crochet. What you don't want to do is make it really tight down here and then finish your single crochet. You see, that's way too tight around the ring. Keep in mind that this first loop is where the ring is gonna pull from. So if it's too tight, it won't have a lot of room to be pulled from. And that's what will cause it to get stuck. So pull it up and finish your single crochet. Now the other thing you don't want to do is pull the top loop up way too high because that's not going to do anything. The only thing that's going to do is make gaps or big holes in your amigurumi once you stuff them. As you can see, there's a big hole there. So don't make that top loop loose. Also, if you're finding holes in your amigurumi, I suggest you use a smaller hook rather than crocheting tightly, especially with these kind of yarns. Okay, so let's finish our magic circle here and let's put it to the test. Perfect circles every time. Number two, recognizing your stitches. In order to see your stitches better, I would first recommend that you learn how to recognize them through the use of crochet diagrams, especially if you are a beginner. Here I'm highlighting the first chain from the hook and then the V stitches that form the top of the single crochet with the front and the back loop. As you can see, they form that V shape that you want to be looking for and they'll always have a front and a back loop. When you go in to make your stitches in the next round, you want to go in through here, just above the front post of the single crochet. Number three, seeing your stitches. To help you see your stitches, my biggest suggestion would be to crochet in well-lit spaces. Now here I'm using black yarn, which is notorious for being very difficult to see. And yet, under this light, I can see the stitches. See, here are each of the V's of the single crochets. And I can even see the posts. So try and crochet under better lighting if you, you're not seeing your stitches well. Number four, pulling or frogging your stitches. If you apply what you learned in tip number one, then when you have to frog your work, it should come out easily. Now, if you come across a stitch that you're having to pull a little harder to get out, I suggest that you stop. Please don't keep going, otherwise you will ruin your yarn. Take a blunt needle and you want to release some tension from that top front loop of the single crochet. Lift it up and now pull your yarn and it should come out with no problem once you do that. So here again, it's not coming out easily. So I'm going to lift that front loop of the single crochet to release some of the tension 
and then the strand will pull out with no problem. Number five, securing your ends. This tip is simple but important. Your ends can come undone just like what's happening here and you don't want to have that happen. So a simple thing you can do is make a knot. However, if you're paranoid like I am, you can go ahead and tie a second knot. Okay guys, and those are my five tips for how to work with blanket yarns. I hope that you found this video useful and that you're not frustrated and are able to finish that project you've been eyeing. Okay, till next time.